Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Inter-American Dialogue's 10th Saul Linowitz Forum Gala. As was mentioned, I'm Ray Suarez of Al Jazeera America's Inside Story, and it's my honor to serve once again as your master of ceremonies this evening. As I was headed up to this floor from the cocktail party, someone suggested to me that this might be like the Oscars, because if they think you did a good job before, they invite you back to do it again. If so, thank you very much. I'm flattered. We have a great, we have a great event planned for you this evening. Now, I know many of you probably saw the invitation and noted black tie optional with some sort of relief. Uh, look at me, I'm the master of ceremonies and I'm standing here, I took the option, like you. So even though a prince of the church is going to follow me up here in a few moments, as master of ceremonies I can give you fashion absolution. So for all of you who took the non-black tie option, you're okay. As you may know, the Dialogue is the leading U.S. Center for Policy Analysis, exchange and communications on issues in Western Hemisphere's affairs dedicated to advancing a regional agenda of democratic governance, prosperity, and social equity. It's ranked among the top 2% of U.S. think tanks and has been named Think Tank of the Year for 2014 by London's Prospect magazine. I'm not sure what the prize is, though, when you become think tank of the year. You, you get to go to two conferences instead of one in, in a given year. The American Dialogues Saul Linowitz Forum, the plenary meeting of its distinguished members, convenes the hemisphere's most influential and innovative minds. Members include 16 former presidents and over three dozen cabinet officials. Since its launch, the forum has helped forge partnerships among opinion leaders from across the Americas and has fostered innovative policy solutions to the region's most pressing challenges. As a reporter covering the world from Washington, D.C., I find the dialogue an important source of scholarship, encounter, wrestling with the real problems that shape daily life for the people of this hemisphere. I was glad to be able to accept this invitation to be with you tonight for that reason. But of course, like everyone in Washington, I have another motive. But I figure that's okay as long as I'm honest about it. When my producers call you to invite you to be on my program, you are not allowed to pretend that you don't know who I am. Okay, is it a deal? I'll take that as a yes. And now to provide tonight's invocation, please welcome from the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C., Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. I'm one of those people who don't have an option I'm, I'm in this business so long, I don't even have a tie. <laughs> anyway, a gala is a time of joy, and I, I see that you have a lot of it already, and that's wonderful. That's what God wants us to have. He wants us to be joyful. He wants us to be filled with the, the, the harmony and the happiness of his presence among us. That lesson has been told in a wonderful way, and one of the great gifts we have from God it's a gift that came from Latin America. I speak of Pope Francis, who was truly a, a blessing for, not just for this continent, but for all the world. And he, <laughs> and uh, a, a lot of the, the joy that he comes with comes from, from Latin America. And so those of you who are Latinos, deben siempre dar gracias a Dios por este gran don De, de estar en la presencia de Dios felices, felices y com confortables en, en la presencia de, de, de amigos. Let us pray. Almighty God, an invocation is a time to thank you 
and a time to ask you for things. We thank you. We thank you for, for our country, the United States of America. We thank you for our neighbors, the, the great countries of Latin America and, and the Caribbean. What a splendid group of, of wonderful success stories. Oh, sure, with problems along the way, and you know them better than anyone does, Lord. But you know the goodness of the people, the family values, the, the values of, of being friends, the values of, of starting new, new worlds, new opportunities. Lord, we ask you to bless our Latin American countries, bless their leadership, bless their, bless their people, bless their faith in you and their faith in family. What a blessing, what a grace, what a strength that is. Sure, we want to ask you for things, Lord. We, we want to ask you for peace in our world. We want to ask you for, for development in, in Latin America and in all other places. We want to ask you for the harmony that, that comes when people in government speak to each other and maybe even get to like each other. We, we ask you, for those of us in this country, for for an end to, to the problems that we face, and we face all over the world, but especially so many that are problems of, with our relationship with foreign lands. We, we ask you, Lord, to bring peace and harmony to the Near East. We ask you, Lord, to pr prevent our, our soldiers and sailors and Marines from having to fight again a terrible battle. We ask you to bring peace in our own country we ask you to bring an end to deportations. We ask you to bring, to bring an end to animosity or, or just misunderstandings, please God. It's just that. It's among our, our leaders. Lord, give us the grace to be what you want us to be. Give us the grace to do what you want us to do. Give us the grace to be what we ourselves want to be and to do, all of us as we gather together. What a great time to be with friends. And what a great time to know that of all the friends we have, you are the greatest. And so, Lord, bless us. Bless those who are being honored today. And bless these gifts of food and drink we're about to receive in your bounty. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Your Eminence. For those of you who were waiting to eat your salad until the invocation, you're okay. Start. I want to introduce you now to our host for this evening, the Secretary General of the Organization of American States, Jose Miguel Insulza. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you all for being here. I was to recognize especially the two former presidents that are here, President Laura Chinchilla from Costa Rica, President Leonel Fernandez from the Dominican Republic, and all our dear friends who have come to this uh, uh, year event of the Inter-American Dialogue. I am very proud to welcome you again at the House of the Americas and say again that uh, mi casa es su casa. This is the house of all the ones who are uh, committed to the cause of the Americas, which is what the Inter-American Dialogue is about. Actually, Ray just, just mentioned the the prize or the award from Prospect Magazine that the Inter-American Dialogue was given this year with the, I, I, I would urge you to see the, the other, the runner-ups for, uh, for this event and there are think tanks that are really much, much larger, probably much richer, and who deal with a lot of events in the world that are probably more a priority than sometimes our region. But this Inter-American Dialogue is something that's really worth supporting. As uh, the Prospect Magazine said when they gave him the award, it says uh, that this organization, the Inter-American Dialogue, aims high. It aims to shape policy debate in the Americas and to advance democratic governance, economic opportunity, and social inequity. Social equity, excuse me. But the most important thing I would say is something that is recognized which is this is really a think tank that is uh, integrated, includes not only Americans, but many Latin Americans, many very important Latin American personalities. This is a real exercise of what once uh, President Obama said at the 
at the summit of the Americas in Trinidad and Tobago when he, when he was just being inaugurated. He said, I want to make policy, I don't want to make policy for you. I want to make policy with you. Now, the best thing about the Inter-American Dialogue is that we try to influence policy all together. We have worked very hard with the dialogue. I'm very grateful to uh, uh, our friend Mike Shifter and to Enrique, Enrique Garcia for including us at the OAS in the annual event we have in, every year in September. I think it's become really a very relevant event of the year in the Americas. We have hosted some other very important matters. Actually, in 2013, it was precisely as a, a development from that trio that, that uh, triple event that brought eventually Secretary Kerry to talk at this same, in this same uh, podium for the first time on his, the policy of the administration towards Latin America. And uh, of course this year the podium was again occupied by our friend Enrique Iglesias to whom we all paid a tribute if only on his end, the end of his tenure in another organization of the Americas. So actually, we have done very important things together. I'm, I'm very grateful of the support we have had from the, the Inter-American Dialogue and the issues on some issues that are very relevant to our agenda. I, think, I do think that we have a hemispheric agenda which is very important. Democracy, human rights, democratic governance, economic opportunity, social inclusion, uh, even some issues that we sometimes don't like to deal with, but are also hemispheric such as crime and drugs, and we have received very, a lot of support from you at the Inter-American Dialogue. So this is a, an organization that really shapes, is in the, 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 in the front line of shaping the policy debate of the region. I'm sure that we're going to have an excellent event not only tonight, but also tomorrow when we meet at the, at the Sol Linowitz Forum. And thank you for being here. Bienvenidos a su casa. Buenas noches.